friends upsc mains rules are out and the candidates who are selected for the personal test shall fill their detailed application form in one week time and daf is like a poll star that guides your preparation for the interview in the next few weeks as well as the questions asked in the pt so you should be very careful while filling the daf form so i suggest you to have a mentor with whom you discuss every column that you fill every row that you fill in the daf so that they can help you in rephrasing some of the things and also what i personally felt is that while filling these uh, prizes awards achievements scholarships some candidates shy away from writing some simple achievements in the school days or college days but if you write those things the discussion in the pt can be more engaging in fact preparation can be more interesting for example in the you know the scholarships in the scholarships prizes medals in this column they kept etc etc means it can be any kind of achievement some certificates cash awards some rewards prize anything you can write right from the school school level college level or if you are working in a corporate in your company any achievements that you have done in your job present job so don't limit it only to the national or regional achievements it can be a local achievement in your village in your company it can be intra college competitions for example if you have got some third prize in robotics in your college you can write that though it is a small college within the college you should not feel that it is a very low achievement because there the discussion can be about robotics about the future robotics in india and what you have done in the competition so it's only about generating engaging discussion and also if your df has all these points preparation will become easy you can prepare more on these points so that the questions also will be more on these points than the current affairs for example next thing is sports ncc sports in the sense you know to write only cricket football or hockey which is very well known to everybody you can write even the regional sports local sports sports in which you have won some uh, any awards or prizes or medals for example kabaddi if you have won some kabaddi competitions in your village you can write about kabaddi competitions you can say that you play kabaddi whenever you go to your village you can write those things so that as i told you earlier preparation will be easy so that the questions can be on the pro kabaddi league pkl and questions can be about the importance of kabaddi rules of kabaddi which you can prepare very well and go and answer and then positions of leadership held in the school or college friends there leadership not only means your know, class leader or spl for example if you have led a team a small team of 2 or 3 we led a team for example your 9th or 10th class you have gone for hiv awareness you know session you have gone for generating awareness among the public in your 9th or 10th class with a small team of 2 or 3 you can write about that one also don't think that it is a very small leadership it's not about what level you are leader at it's only about what you have learned from that and what kind of activity you have done through that so that actually makes the discussion more engaging and that helps you in preparation also preparation for the interview for the pt then other extra activities and interest friends interest can be anything for example let us say recently you have cultivated interest in reading mahabharata let us say you can write directly that recently i have cultivated interest in reading mahabharata for example when you have a mentor with whom you can have a discussion while filling day af the phrasing of sentences can be more meaningful for example one of our students in the previous year has written reading epics but then when when i discussed with him he said that he is particularly reading mahabharata these days so i told him instead of epic you write mahabharata and also he is not just reading the books of mahabharata he is watching some web series or television or movies but mahabharata movies made on mahabharata or you know he's having a discussion with the elders on mahabharata so i said that instead of reading you write studying studying mahabharata studying in the sense you can watch something in the television or you can have a discussion listen uh, from others read books of different authors it is a whole package so right that you have to rephrase sentences and you have to say recently cultivated interest in studying mahabharata so that they understand that it is a recent interest so they their questions will be limited and they won't expect much from you similarly you have some certain small simple hobbies like you know gardening so you should write specifically garden where is terrace gardening means at what level you are doing the gardening or for example you can write organic farming so that you can write organic farming at what level specifically what are you cultivating there should be specific for example some people write listen to the music but which music do you specifically you know listen to of course we all listen to all kinds of music but you should be specific 
for example classical music or what kind of for example bollywood music or or maybe some you know the south indian uh, uh, music for example when you write reading books you can write reading fiction or non fiction or reading some you know this kind of novels so when you are specific they can ask more questions and when you are specific preparation becomes easier because if you write reading books then you should start preparing different kinds of books you should you should start learning about different kinds of uh, authors but when you are specific preparation will be more you know meaningful for you and friends come into the preferences service preference as well as cad allocation cad preference i mean you should be very careful for example some candidates do not really know about the kind of job in each service and they do not know their interest in the job so when you have a discussion with the mentor a mentor who has good knowledge on various services for example even my knowledge of services 5 years back was different and now it is different because when i am discussing with our old students who have gone into ias ips irs ifs you know iaas ipos ides when i talk to those students who are presently working in services i will understand i will understand how the services have changed over period of time what is the scope of the job for example irs the role of irs is completely changing these days ifs is becoming more challenging you know ips the kind of job you do as ips is slightly changing in the last few years so when i discuss with that with the candidates then they will tell their interest why they want to put ips in the top why they want to keep irs above ifs or why they want to keep ifs in the top i mean they will tell their interest then i will be telling them about the role of the job how it is changing so the, after the mutual discussion they can actually put the services which they really enjoy friends every service is unique every service is really great in the upsc csc however you should be able to choose which service suits your personality better or suits your way of working better that can come only when you discuss with the mentor then coming to the cadre preferences cadre also after the zonal system has come while filling df you should be more careful you cannot just fill the cadre by copying from your friends you should know about each zone each state what is the kind of role in that state which one you like the most based on your interest have a discussion with the mentor so discussion with the mentor is not only about filling the prizes scholarship awards or sports ncc or nso no it is also about the cadre service preference all these things so if you have a detailed discussion after filling the gf you need not regret i have seen personally many candidates after filling the gf submit the gf and then they start regretting sir i have unnecessarily written this experience for example sir i have worked in certain organization for 7 months but i don't have good knowledge on that and right now i don't have information also to learn about the organization so i don't know how to prepare on that right now so don't have regrets like this for that while filling jf have a mentor with whom you discuss everything every line shall be discussed rephrased rephrased again and again and also you should remember for example if you start thinking about what you have done in the school days college days in the company start thinking tell tell the mentor about everything that you have done so that mentor can pick up some interesting things from school or college which you can place rightly in your da form which will have an engaging discussion and which can prepare very well which will be interesting preparation point of view also so have an elaborate discussion with the mentor on various things don't shy away on telling anything tell everything and mentor will be telling you which one will be suiting you better on which one questions can come in a better way so friends be careful fill the da form revise it multiple times use this seven days wisely so that next few weeks and your future in the service or cadre will be happier no regrets and if you want to have a discussion with us while filling df you can actually click on the below link or you can call on the below number and have a discussion we are here to freely guide you in filling df so that you will have a wonderful day f thank you